So I did mention that today was a very, very important day. So let's talk about it. It's the very first day of summer. But in order to get to that, we need to talk about why we have some of the seasons, right? So the Earth is tilted on its axis at 23.5 degrees that we learn in school. The Earth's tilt is what gives us seasons. So let's put this together when you have the different solstices, which is going to be your winter and your summer. Uh, and then, of course, you have your equinoxes, which are your, uh, which are your autumn and your spring ones as well. Uh, instead of saying the more technical terms, I wanted to make sure we just kept it simple. Now, I do want to talk about the one that we're in right now, which is the summer solstice. And this year, it's June 20th. We are looking at Earth's axis tilted towards the sun. It's the shortest day and longest night in the southern hemisphere. Uh, and that's what gives us our summer, right? It's tilted towards the sun. Not necessarily how close or far we are from the sun. I just want to point that out, right? It's where the earth is tilted towards, and that's right now towards the sun, and that's why we are getting summer. All right, high resolution radar right now. You're seeing just a few spotty showers up towards the north, down towards the south as you get into Wessico and Progresso. Uh, we have a little bit of showers there. Let's zoom out just a bit, and you're going to be able to see uh, that we're not getting as much all around, right? We saw Mexico earlier today. They had plenty of showers down towards the south, and uh, we saw plenty of showers in the Gulf of Mexico, but now very isolated, very few and far between some up towards Kingsville uh, and then some out towards the Gulf of Mexico. But temperatures right now, 84 degrees in Brownsville, 81 in Harlingen, 84 in McAllen, 80 degrees in Rio Grande City, uh, South Padre Island, Curtin City at about 84. But tonight that's not going to be too bad, 77. And as we've seen, showers will be off and on throughout the day itself. We're not expecting widespread showers uh, like we had been the past couple of days. Actually going to be much calmer than that uh, today and tonight and going into tomorrow as well. So let's take a look at future radar. This is one of our other models called our HRRR model. This one kind of gives us a good idea over the next couple of hours, and you're noticing, mm, same thing, isolated showers here and there. Not too many, maybe a few stronger ones early in the morning, and that's why we saw a 70% chance as we get into the early morning hours, and then it stays like that throughout most of the day itself. So. We knew that was going to happen, and that's why we still gave tomorrow a decent shot at seeing some rain. It's when we get into the weekend that it starts to pick up, but I'll get to that in a moment. 91 in La Jolla for tomorrow, 91 in McAllen, 91 in Harlingen, 92 degrees in Brownsville. Now our eyes on the tropics and what are going on out there. We're watching two areas of interest. One, not as important to us. The other one, a bit more important. Let's talk about the one that's not as important. That one just off the coast of Florida, a 50% chance of it developing over the next two to seven days. This is the one we have to watch. And I showed this to you earlier, right? We have big bands of uh, unorganized or disorganized storms within the area. This one, a 60% chance of it developing over the next seven days as it moves into the Bay of Campeche. Look at what happens. Uh, and I fixed this graphic from earlier so we can see uh, that you get kind of this rotation. It's not until we get to Friday night that we start to see more of a form here. Tropical depression, tropical storm, maybe, but we got to watch it to see exactly what's going to happen. And as it quote unquote makes landfall, because again, at this point, we don't know what it's going to be. Uh, we are expecting for showers to continue moving in. So that's something we have to watch. Here is your seven day forecast. We're at 91 on Friday, 89 on Saturday, 90 degrees on Sunday, 92 on Monday, and then the rain chances finally go. But it's Sunday and Monday that we have to watch to see if we get any tropical development.